is a came from Evansville watch. That's right. This is a came from Evansville watch. Broadcasting live on the air and also live online. And now on YouTube, Cats. That's right. We are recording with high-tech web camera. <laughs> and we've got a crazy technology where we can put our videos side by side and you can watch all the craziness unfold here in the studio. In 1080p HD. Yeah, in that. Or something like that. That's what the cameras say. It's Here. in the fine print right under the lens. Okay. I'm not sure it records in that, but either way, uh, welcome to It Came From Evansville Watch, the third one for this week, because actually it's it's a double week because we were out last week. Mm -hmm. So you've got a uh, few more for us that Kat wants to share. Uh, Evansville Watch is a Facebook and Twitter organization that monitors the police radio here in town. When something happens, they will tweet or status update about it to make sure the community is informed. Uh, we find the good ones, Kat reads them back to us, and then we, we point and laugh. Yep. So Kat, what has come from Evansville Watch over the past two weeks? I sifted through every tweet that Evansville Watch made for the last two weeks, Rob. And I have organized them, and some of them are strange, some of them are funny, some of them... Evans, They're just plain Evansville. Evansville Watch is currently writing a restraining order for Cat Michaels. <laughs> I'm stalking you. All right. A hazard. A scooter it's cruising a at 15 miles per hour on the interstate. Last seen northbound on I-69 from Covert Avenue area. It, the speed limit there, by the way, just north of Covert on I-69 is 60 miles an hour. Correct. Which means cars are probably going at least 65 probably 68 mm -hmm. and he's doing 50 he or she is doing 15 on a moped yeah and they think it's totally normal and for some reason that it is that illegal yes oh it is illegal. okay good well i'm happy to hear that it, that it is it is actually there's um you, you can be ticketed for driving too slowly to the person driving that scooter what is wrong with you what is wrong with you 15 miles an hour on a scooter on the highway on the, not the highway the interstate on the interstate even better yeah all right, 1800 block of Shelby Avenue. Caller advised a neighbor is cutting her landscaping bushes that are on her side of the property. When she confronted the neighbor, he threatened to kill her dog if she didn't go back in the house. Caller requesting an officer, ASAP, officer en route. This was almost word for word the plot of an episode of Married with Children in like 1995. Really? Yeah. Something like that, like they, 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 the Darcys and uh, the Bundys, oh, they kept man. warring over where their fence line should be, and oh, it was great. Uh, update. Per officer at the holdup, 1500 block West Missouri, the suspect ran out of his shoes when he fled. A detective is en route. That's really fast. It was really fast. Ran so fast he ran out of his shoes. You think he left a cartoon trail of dust he behind may, him? He may have. Um, near Route 150, shirtless man carrying shirt, beating on doors, screaming that he just got out of jail four hours ago and that he's going to assault someone tonight. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on in that story. There is a lot going on in that story. But the moral of the sto story is keep your shirts on, kids. <laughs> keep your shirts on. It all starts with being shirtless. Yeah. Officer dispatched to the unit block of North Spring Street. Caller advises a male is walking a dog and looking into her windows, not from the street, standing in her landscaping. Whoa, hold on. Give me that one again. Officer dispatched to the unit block in North Spring Street. Caller advises a male is walking a dog and looking in her windows, not from the street, standing in her landscaping. Oh, whoa, that's creepy. Super creepy, right? And brought a dog along. Yeah. Noise complaint, 5900 block of North St. Joe. Caller advised a weed eater or some type of two-stroke motor is running. Caller stated, motor. it's too early. I, I did notice, I noted the timestamp. It was timestamped at 810 in the morning. Is that too early to be mowing your grass? I don't really think so. I, I don't mean, either, but like, we also get up at like four and five in the morning. Right. I mean, I sleep in on the weekends. And so, you know, if this were on like a Saturday or something, I'd probably grumble that it was eight o'clock in the morning. Shouldn't you be like sleeping in too? But I'm not going to call the police because somebody's running their weed eater Yeah. at eight ten in the morning. I'm with you. Um, 500 block South Linwood, a female subject wearing a leopard outfit is running around acting crazy per caller. No, no, no. Acting cray. <laughs> they spelled cray wrong. They spelled cray wrong. <laughs> All right, cool. I have three more. Um, hazard at Highway 41 in Birch Road, south of State Road 57. A chicken is in the roadway creating a hazard. It's Update. 
Sometimes staying on your own side of the road is best. The chicken on Highway 41 near State Road 57 has been injured trying to cross the road. Oh, no. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. There you go. 620 North. But it didn't say dead. It didn't say dead. Just he was injured. So he's not McNuggets yet. Not yet. Okay. Two more. 620 North Main Street. In decent exposure, a male subject is urinating by the building. Welcome to Evansville. Uh, yesterday, there was someone urinated that you mentioned, but then, uh, quote, shook it at someone, at a shook woman? Shook it at her, is, yeah. is how that read, yeah. <laughs> was there any additional shaking going on? I don't know, Rob. I don't know. The last one I have for you today, and to wrap up this week, if it came from Evansville Watch, after culling through two full weeks of every single tweet that Evansville Watch made while we were on vacation... <sighs> This one is a hashtag throwback Thursday, hashtag TBT from October 6, 2011. Okay. We had just launched our show in September. This would be Fall Fest week of 2011. I remember that was a doozy. Yes. Our first, our first Fall Fest, I remember there was crazy stories happening out of. But I don't think we had started It Came From Evansville Watch yet. I don't think so. That might have been what even started it. Because I remember there were so many crazy stories out yes. of that. Including one about a guy, like a, there was a... Someone who was working on the telephone lines, but wasn't supposed to be just for a parking spot. Right. I think that was actually after we started. I remember doing that during, I remember giving that one. Yeah. I thought that was the week that started, but let's go ahead. What, what is it? All right. So hashtag throwback Thursday, hashtag TBT, October 16th, 2011 dispatched man just called 911 to report that his teenage son or friend stole his one pop meth lab and he's upset about it. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Called 911 because his son or his fr son's friend stole his one pop meth lab and he's mad. That is excellent. Yep. Wow. That is a special kind of stupid. Isn't it though? A very special kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't remember reporting on that one. You're absolutely right. <laughs> that was a doozy.